Hi parents, in this video we want to discuss the student's grading expectation in the probation system. AVID students have to want to be an AVID. AVID students' grade will be monitored closely by the AVID elective teacher. Expectations are that students make A's and B's in all of their classes. The students will be reminded by teachers to keep grades at an 80 or higher. If the student is falling behind, teachers will work together to try to assist the student with tutoring, extra help, or whatever that student may need to be successful. Students will set goals and work on reaching them during AVID class time. If the grade continuous, continually slips, the AVID probation system goes into effect. The reason we do not accept C's is because AVID has so many resources. We have college tutors that come in for tutorial groups. We have binder checks where we're constantly checking their work. And we require that our students take Cornell notes. To help students, these all of these are put in place to help students bump up their grades. And there is no reason why an AVID student should have a C. Also, Pre-AP in seventh grade is not near as challenging as eighth grade, which is not near as challenging as high school. So if students cannot make A's and B's in pre-AP in seventh, it is possible that they may not be able to handle the pre-AP or AVID as they get older. This for us also is a sign that they should be removed from the program. The first time it happens, the student is issued a warning. They create a goal to fix the problem and they work towards their goal. The student can go to tutoring if necessary or work on organization if that is more the reason for the low grade. They can make their study group forms about the class so that they can get ahead or catch up. If the student receives lower than an 80 at the next grading period, they are put on AVID probation. This is very similar to academic probation in college for failing. This means that they are now required to go to tutoring and get signatures from teachers. They will have a goal written for them by the AVID teacher and the core teacher will be aware. Their, student, their study group form will be required to be in that subject and the parent will be notified. If it happens a third time, the parents and the teacher will determine if the student is expelled or not. This means being removed from the AVID program. In some cases, an AVID site team member and possibly a principal will meet with the parent and AVID teacher as well to determine if the student should remain in the program or if they need to be removed and expelled permanently. They can always interview for AVID again, but there is no guarantee of readmission. There are plenty of AVID supports that the AVID students are expected to utilize. These supports include study groups, frequent grade checks in class by the student and the teacher, frequent meetings with the AET recording, regarding grades, which is the, active, the AVID electives teacher, um, behavior meetings also, um, we also have Wicker-based lessons to assist other classes. We take Cornell notes that are written in other classes. And the AVID elector teacher is a liaison to other teachers, which means we check in on the students to find out how they're